you can easily slide most screwdrivers through a wrench and then use it to create more torque. This especially helps if you're dealing with complicated angles and heights. You can unfold those takeout containers into flat plates, which will make it much easier for you to eat from them. And what's even cooler, you can fold them back up when you're done so you can take the leftovers home. Non-stick pans are great, but metal utensils aren't a good idea when you use such pans. It might not be visible at first, but the metal spoils and scratches that non-stick coating on your pots and pans. This way, your cookware won't last long. Even worse, the non-stick coating contains harmful substances that may get mixed with your food. Most people subconsciously tend to buy a medium-sized soda. But it just encourages fast food retailers to make all sodas bigger and charge more for them. Many people buy medium-sized beverages even when they're not so thirsty, just because it looks like a better deal than a small one. Also, the medium size is in the strategic position right next to the large one. So even when it's expensive, it looks like a fair deal. For example, when you see two bottles of soda, one for $1 and the other for $3, many would choose the small one to save $2. But when you add a third size, which is even more expensive, it looks like you're getting more for your $3. Even though a medium-sized bottle is way smaller than a large one, but costs just around 50 cents less. The delicious Toblerone chocolate has an interesting design. Since the chocolate is produced in Switzerland, many people think its unusual triangular shape is supposed to remind them of the Swiss Alps. But in reality, the purpose is practical. Chocolate pieces are triangular so that you can press one with your thumb and easily snap it off. That's supposed to be the perfect size serving, but who can stop after just one? Now, how about we talk about detergent? Okay, its purpose is quite obvious. I bet you use it in the wrong way. It seems that the more detergent you add, the cleaner your clothes will come out, right? Not really. If you use more detergent than recommended, you can actually trap stains. Because too much detergent produces tons of suds. They kind of cushion the dirt and it doesn't wash away. Peanut butter doesn't have any hidden purposes, but there's a secret tip about how you should store it. When you have all-natural peanut butter, you can see that oils and solids get separated if you leave the product in the cupboard for a while. Next time you buy a jar of peanut butter, store it upside down. This way, the oil will get distributed more evenly. Flaps at the top of a juice box are there to make it easier for you to hold it. This way, you won't squeeze the box too tightly and spill the liquid. When was the last time you checked your tires? They have special tread markings that can help you understand when it's time to change them. Just place a penny into your tire's tread groove so that the head is upside down and facing you. If you see all of the head, it's time to think about getting new tires. A potato peeler is not just what its name says. It's a pretty versatile little thing. It can help you slice cheese, make potato chips, or get paper-thin carrot pieces for your salad. You can even slice an onion much faster than you usually would. Having a dishwasher doesn't mean that you can just randomly place your dirty dishes there and expect that everything will end up equally clean. The device has its own secrets. Place the dirtiest items in the middle of the bottom rack so that they face the spray arm. Those are usually things like pots, pans, and very dirty plates. Don't put big items over the detergent dispenser because they might block the soap and it doesn't get distributed the right way. Using a staple remover is a great way to pull your keys off the key ring. There's no need to ruin your nails. And if you want to add a new key to the ring, just take a staple remover and wedge its teeth between the coils. You'll create more space once you press it down. Most people use too much toothpaste when brushing their teeth. While a pea-sized amount is more than enough, it just looks better on ads when people use larger amounts. Don't fall for this trick. What's the biggest problem with using a slow cooker? You need to be patient. The main principle of work of this device is trapping heat and then using it to gradually cook food. So don't lift the lid of the device to check if the food is ready every couple of minutes, like you do with a regular pot. When you lift the lid, the heat escapes and you prolong the cooking time. 
Rivets are those little metal things on your jeans. Many people believe they're solely for aesthetics. But the manufacturers used to place rivets in the areas where a piece of clothing was more likely to tear and where there was a lot of strain. Rivets help to hold the fabric together. Have you ever noticed that the edges of some coins are smooth, while others have ridges? These ridges actually come from the past. Some sneaky folks would shave off the edges of their coins and use the metal they got to make new coins. But it was impossible to do the same with a coin with ridged edges. Most of the books have at least one or two completely blank pages in the back, front, or even both. That's because of signatures. It's a term that means groups of pages that printers fold and cut when assembling a book. A signature can contain four pages, or 16, 32, or 64. The main thing is that you can divide the number by four. Such a signature can perfectly fit if a written work has 200 pages. But if there are, let's say, 203 pages, there will be some page leftovers from one of those signatures. Sometimes, publishers choose to fill this extra space with illustrations, feature checklists, other books an author has written, or even short extracts from other books. And in textbooks, instruction manuals, or similar publications, you can sometimes find the inscription, this page is intentionally left blank. These notes are necessary so that you don't get worried that you're missing some important information. Why are fire trucks red? Back in the 1900s, there were mostly black colored cars on the roads. That's why fire trucks were painted striking red so that they could stand out in the sea of dark vehicles and get free space to pass through traffic faster. There's also a psychological component. For example, the color green kinda says, go ahead, and that's what it means when you look at the traffic lights. School buses are yellow because this color is the most visible one on the road, and the red hue symbolizes danger. Plus, it's the color with the longest wavelength visible to the human eye. This means we can easily spot it from a distance. That's why stop signs are also red. Have you ever noticed there's some numbers on your cosmetic products? You can usually find such codes along the edges of tubes or on the bottom of bottles and boxes. Don't ignore these numbers. They tell you how long your product will last. By following these instructions, you won't cause any damage to your skin. You sometimes see the green tint on the covers and tops of glass tables because of the iron content manufacturers use while producing the glass. You can see the greenish tint, especially if you take a look at the glass from the edges. If you don't like this color, go for low iron glass. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.